Hey, my name is Mike, and in this video, I am playing Call of Duty Black Ops 4, the open beta on PC. In this video, all the settings are set to the highest that I can go, and my resolution scale is at like 135%. Just so everyone knows, I could go to 200% and have the resolution scale at 4K, but while I was recording, I was getting 60 FPS, but it was just a little stuttery, while only while I was recording, so... Uh, without recording it ran fine so uh, to start off i just want to talk quickly about the optimization and the settings on pc i'm actually li really impressed with how well this game runs in beta on pc usually like when the game launches officially it's pretty bad so i'm, I'm surprised that the beta runs well but it is treyarch and they are pretty good at the pc community so it was just nice to see that in beta form it's still running well so uh, hopefully when the game comes out it is optimize still or optimize better whatever kind of issues they have they figure out but i haven't noticed any in like two or so hours that i've been playing the other thing that i really liked with being on pc is the amount of settings there are i i'm not like i always forget that treyarch likes pc gamers for the most part and they give us a lot of settings to work with uh and just being able to kind of especially like resolution scale i don't think resolution scale is ever an option in call of duty so seeing that in the, in the settings was really cool to see so it was nice to be able to go through all those settings and kind of figure out what I wanted to do and, and be able to spend more than like two minutes figuring out all the settings. So that was cool. But moving into the gameplay side of things, I just want to give some of my opinions on, like I said, again, like two or three hours of gameplay that I've played so far. The gameplay in general is very similar to Call of Duty in general. Like if you played Call of Duty before, you've played this game before. And if you've played Black Ops 2 or 3, you've played this game before. It's not very different from those two games or Call of Duty in general. I personally enjoyed Black Ops 2 and 3, and so I, I feel like I would enjoy this game. It's just the gameplay is not... I think Call of Duty's kind of found its, found its way, and it's not really going to change too much in the future. So it is what it is, and it's, for the most part, pretty similar. The... One thing I don't like about this game in particular is the classes, or the kind of the specializations. In this game I'm playing, uh, I don't remember his name, it starts with a P though. Um, but I don't, I'm not really a fan of these kind of specializations. It reminds me of like Rainbow Six or Overwatch or something like that, where you have kind of different people that can do different things and utility classes and stuff. And I don't know, it's just very gimmicky to me. And it's to me personally, it doesn't really fit with Call of Duty. Call of Duty to me is kind of like a run and gun type of game. and. I don't need to have specializations, just give me different guns and just tell me whether I'm recon or whether I'm, you know, assault or um, stealth or whatever it is. So having the kind of, I think there's like nine different classes, which is cool, but for my guy, for example, I like when I press Q right now, I'm using it. I have this sniper that uh, incapacitates someone on the first shot and then it kills them on the second. So, I mean, it's it's cool, the same kind of, but it's, it's for the most part, it's kind of gimmicky. So I'm not a big fan of that, but... Other gameplay things include the time to kill. I think time to kill is way too high. I feel like it needs to get lowered a lot. I feel like it's the highest or longest time to kill we've had in Call of Duty in, in ever or in a long time, but it just felt like I was just firing at people forever. So hopefully that gets down. Uh, the guns I've played so guns I've played so far seem pretty similar. Uh, there's not too much, at least with the assault rifles and SMGs that I played so far. They kind of all do the same thing they don't have that much recoil they're pretty easy to learn and they're not bad the iron sights the default iron sights on all of them kind of suck so that was annoying but for the most part they're, they're they're okay i don't really have any issues with the guns at the moment one thing i don't like about this game also is the way kind of the leveling up system works in terms of what you unlock so one of the things they've changed now is shotguns are a secondary again which I hate. I wish shotguns were a primary because it's shotguns suck in every single game. So I'm not looking forward to having someone mow me down with like a machine gun or, or assault rifle and then pull out their shotgun and just one shot me if they want or have that option to just run around with a shotgun and then for long range have an assault rifle. I really, really don't like that. And I hate the fact that shotguns are secondaries now. Uh, I also don't like the fact that they've made grenades and, and concussion grenades like not immediately available. So you can't just randomly press G or whatever and throw a grenade. You have to unlock your grenade at level 29 and your concussion grenade at level 38. And you can, you can, I think you, you can only have two of those at the same time. So if you want to, you can do concussion and grenade, but there's also like, there's Molotovs, there's like a trophy system or whatever. And it's like, it's weird having, you can't use a grenade to level 29. 
or concussion grenade to level 38. I, I, I really don't like that. That seems super weird. I don't like that at all. I think that should just be like, especially a grenade, it should just be kind of with the game. But I guess it kind of makes us, you don't just start spamming grenades. So I guess whatever. I'll, I can deal with that. I like that they added health back. I like that you can heal in combat or like right, just run away from combat, heal up real quick. You don't have to wait for the jelly on your screen to go away. That's nice. And the maps so far I've played are okay. So, um, in general, I think right now this game is okay. I'm definitely not going to pre-order it, and I don't even know if I'll buy it when it comes out. I might wait for a sale. I said that with World War II, though, and I ended up buying it like a week or two after it came out. But uh, so far, I think that I could see myself enjoying this game for more than 20 hours like I did with World War II. It is, um, it is a Treyarch game. Like I said, they're typically good, at, typically good to the PC community. Black Ops is historically a pretty good franchise, especially on PC, and um, I think from the two or three hours that I played, I, I enjoyed it more than I did with World War II in the 20 hours that I played with that game. The only thing with PC, though, is you buy the game, and then two months later, you can only play TDM. So far, they added like TDM and Kill Confirm, they're one playlist now. Same with Domination and Hardpoint, they're one playlist, so you, can, you can't play individual ones. I hope they keep that. Maybe they kind of include more game modes into one thing, so PC gamers aren't only playing kill confirmed in TDM but we'll see but yeah like I said I don't think I'm gonna be pre-ordering it or buying it day one or anything like that but I could see myself buying this game in the future on sale or something but yeah anyway I'll leave it at that thank you very much for watching if you played the beta or you own it or whatever let me know what you think and I will see you all in the future thanks and have a good day